you please introduce yourself? Sir, my name is Mankanta. I have done my graduation in Bhai Engineering College mm -hmm. with a grade of 6.5 CCPA okay. in Computer Science Engineering Branch. Okay. I have done my internal stages in the college with 75%. And my schooling in public school in teaching BHL okay. with a CGPA of 8.4. Yeah. Okay. So, how many projects you have done so far? Three projects, sir. Three? Fine. Um, could you explain the second project? What is the main theme in the project? Uh, the second project is about a CACD project. Contains the Maven, GitHub, and uh, Sonar Cube, Nexus, and store What is the overall system. process? Why we do that? Uh, uh, to what? deploy the some application into the Tomcat server mm -hmm. by doing the various uh, steps. Okay. What are the steps involved in that? First, we have to clone a deposit from GitHub, mm -hmm. and then we have to write a pipeline, okay. and then we have to use the Maven validate, Maven validate, Maven compile, and then we have to make the artifact from that, and then we have to store it into. The, then we have to do the Sonar cube, so that we can we can check the quality of the pro code, okay. and then we have to do the dependency step to uh, to check the security of the code, and then we have to store the artifact in Nexus. After that, we have to deploy into Tomcat server. Tomcat server. What is quality gate and quality profile? In quality gate, we have to uh, assign some set of rules. Uh, if the code is going to pass from the set of rules, and then it's going to become into the artifact. And quality profile should be done with the by the coders. They are going to give some uh, assign some uh, what we say rules for that. So what is dependency check? Dependency check is used to check the security of the code and security of the project. So um, let's start the I main question or regular question. What is Git? Git is a uh, distributed uh, system where okay. we can store the codes. Okay. Uh, different between uh, Git. Hub and Git Bash. GitHub is used to store the local repositories and Git Bash is used to connect with the GitHub where we can use all the commands to, to push and pull the what is the files into the GitHub and pull the files from the GitHub to the R. What are the options we have in Reset? Soft, mixed, and hard. Okay. What happens when you say Maven pack compile? Maven compile is going to compile the code and it's going the code is going to be converted into the machine understandable language. Into the binaries. Into the binary language, zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. So, what do you mean by artifact? Sir, artifact is is, is like a uh, after the uh, package, after doing the Maven package, uh -huh. it's going to be artifact which we can store into the Nexus. Okay. Uh, could you please explain about the Jenkins? Sir, Jenkins is a CI CD tool, uh -huh. continuous integration, continuous deployment tool, uh -huh. which we can integrate, uh, which we can do the integration of the main. Various tools like GitHub okay. and uh, SonarCube, Nexus, Tomcat, etc. So without this, can we we can do any integration? Not possible, sir. So we have to any any we use any other uh, CSV tool. But without CSV tool, we can do or we can do. We cannot, sir. We cannot. Um, <coughs> why we? What are the plugins so far you installed, and what are the functionalities of each and every plugin? Sir, uh, uh, the plugins which I use is uh, one is Blue Version, sir. Blue mm -hmm. Version plugin, which is going to Show the process of any job in some kind of a 3D in a 3D manner, sir. Mm -hmm. And first, and the OWASP dependency check. Okay. It's a plugin which is used to check the dependency check of a job. Okay. And next, the role based access strategy, which okay. is used to create some roles in the project, like okay. DevOps, developer, and same for a project. Okay. And next, multi branch pipeline, which is used to create the gen, the plugin is used to create the multiple branches in a Jenkins. Okay. Uh, could you please write a sample doc for, for example Jenkins file? Jenkins file. Jenkins file. Okay, sir. So Jenkins file or Jenkins file plan both are same. Uh, I'm okay with this. Could you please explain the 
which and every step. Okay, sir. Pipeline. First, we have to write the pipeline, mm -hmm. and next agent any. Mm -hmm. And next, we have to write. What is my agent any? Agent any in the sense, uh, it, it is going to say that with the particular node. Ah. With the particular, we can means it can be run the job name done in any particular node, sir. Yes, exactly. And next stages, sir. So the the process is going to be in stages first. Okay. In stages, we we'll, there will be stage. Okay. For uh, for to accompany this stage, we have to use the steps, sir. Okay. To fulfill the stage, we have to do the steps, sir. Okay. If we done with the steps, we can fulfill the stages, sir. Okay. So the first stage is going to be the Git checkout. Okay. Means we have to clone, uh, clone a Git repository from our GitHub account, sir. Okay. And then we have to validate the, so the Git URL, sir. We have to paste the Git URL, sir. Okay. And next next stage is going to be validate. Okay. In validate, we have to validate the Git URL that we have been cloned, sir. Okay. And next is going to be the compile. Mm -hmm. We have to compile the code and then mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. And then, if you use the stage uh, package by giving a command SH uh, Maven well uh, package, mm -hmm. the code is going to be converted into a package, sir. So okay. that it is used to store in any like Nexus, like Docker, etc., sir. Okay, fine. <coughs> How, I mean, um, are you comfortable in Docker as well? Yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, Docker architecture, please. Explain me the Docker architecture. You can explain me here. Sir, first of all, Docker is a container, container technique, uh, technology, sir, okay. which we can store the images and containers into a Docker Hub, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in Docker Hub, there will be a, we have to have an account in Docker Hub, sir. Mm -hmm. So in Docker, like a GitHub, in GitHub we are going to uh, store all the codes. Okay. Like the Docker Hub, we are going to create uh, store the containers which have been done by the developers. Sir. Developers. Okay. So first is Docker, sir. Mm -hmm. Docker, and then it's uh, sorry, it's going to be the local server, sir. Mm -hmm. Server. From server, there will be a mm -hmm. daemon. Provide the connection between the server and the registry, sir. Registry. Okay. So registry. So that in server, we are going to provide uh, do all the commands which we are required, and means writing a Docker file, okay, and uh, converting into the image, and then converting into the container. Mm -hmm. With the help of the daemon, we are going to uh, connect to this uh, registry, mm -hmm. and then we are going to store the uh, what is the containers into the registry, which is called a Docker Hub, sir. Uh, we will store the containers in the registry, or uh... What? Registry. Images. Ah. Images. And okay. Then, Fine. Uh, the difference between Docker file and Compose. What you're gonna get with the Docker file? Sir, for, uh, in Docker file, sir, we are we are going to create all one container, sir. But with the help of Docker Compose, we are going to create multiple containers by using a single Docker uh, Compose file, sir. Multiple containers in only, yeah. Compose. 